Welcome friends. I am Hitesh Agrawal, Assistant Professor at PG College of Pharmaceutical Science and Research, Nandurbar. Today, we will learn Reproductive System. After learning this, you will be able to recall location, structure and functions of male and female reproductive systems. You will be able to discuss the role of sex hormones. You will be able to describe the process of spermatogenesis in testes and oogenesis in ovaries. You may be able to compare the major events of menstruation and fertilization. In this chapter, we will learn introduction about the reproductive system and various terminologies associated with. We will be studying anatomy and physiology of male reproductive system and female reproductive system. We will study the physiology of sex hormones and menstruation, fertilization, spermatogenesis, oogenesis, pregnancy and parturition. Introduction Sexual reproduction is a process by which organism produce offspring from the fusion of two different sem which are called as gametes. Producing offspring is also called as progeny. The male gamete and the female gamete unite or fuse to form zygote or to felicitate fertilization. The male gamete is called as spermatozoa whereas the female gamete is called as ova. The fertilized cell contains one set of chromosomes from each parent. The genetic material or information is transfer from one generation to another that is from parent cells to daughter cells. Now we will study various terminologies associated with reproductive system. Gynecology. Gynecology is a specialized branch of medicine concerned with the diagnosis and treatment of the disease related to female reproductive system. Andrology, the branch of medicine that deals with the disorder of male reproductive system, especially infertility and sexual dysfunction. Gametogenesis, it is defined as formation of gametes, that is sperms in males and ovum in females. Insemination, insemination is defined as a process of transfer of sperms into the female genital tract. Blastocyst, a thin walled hollow structure consists of cluster of cells in early embryonic development. Implantation, the attachment of the fertilized egg that is blastocyst to the wall of uterus at the start of pregnancy. Gestation. Embryonic development inside the womb between conception and birth is called as gestation and the period is called as gestation period. Parturition. It is defined as the action of giving birth to young ones that is delivery of baby. Now we will study in detail the anatomy and physiology of male reproductive system. Male reproductive system consists of scrotum, testes, epididymis, vas difference, spermatic cord, seminal vesicle, 
प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड बल्बी यूरेथरल ग्लैंड इजेक्युलेटरी ड्रक्ट यूरेथ्रा एंड पेनिस मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज डिवाइडेड इनटू एक्सटर्नल जेनिटल ऑर्गन एंड इंटरनल जेनिटल ऑर्गन द एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर आर द पेनिस स्क्रोटम एपिडाइडाइमिस एंड टेस्टिस वेयर एज द इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स व्हिच आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एसेसरी ऑर्गन्स इंक्लूड्स वास डिफरेंस समाइनल वेसिकल्स प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड्स and bulbo urethral glands scrotum in this we will study the structure location and function of scrotum in diagram you can see the outer covering of testis is called as scrotum it is the supporting structure for the testis it is pouch like structure consist of pigmented skin made up of fibrous connective tissue and smooth muscle which act as an septum septum divides the scrotum into two sacs each containing a single testis scrotum hangs out from the root attached portion of penis testis in diagram you can see the internal structure is called as testis in this we'll study its gross anatomy and function each testis is about 4.5 cm long 2.5 cm wide and 3 cm thick with mass of each testis is about 10 to 15 g they are suspended in the scrotum by spermatic duct they are surrounded by three layers of tissues tunica vaginalis which forms the outer covering surrounded by blood vessels nervous tissue lymph vessels and different ducts tunica albuginea which is placed beneath tunica vaginalis which divides testis into lobules tunica vasculosa it is the network of capillaries supported by connective tissue spermatozoa that is sperm are produced by the process of spermatogenesis in the seminiferous tubule of the testis the location of the scrotum and contraction of its muscles regulates temperature of testis normal sperm production requires a temperature of about 2 to 3 degree celsius below the normal body temperature and that is the actual function of scrotum as well as testis sperm production males begin after puberty and continues throughout the life unlike females who produce no new gametes after birth that is production of sperms goes on continues after puberty in males spermatogenesis spermatogenesis is a dynamic process of testis it takes 67 to 75 days to produce spermatozoa it begins with spermatogonia which contains 2n number of chromosome in first mitotic division here you can see the first mitotic division the entire process of spermatogenesis is divided into two division first mitotic division and second mitotic division where in first mitotic division it contains 2n number of chromosomes which are further divided in second meiotic division to produce spermatozoa and the entire process is called as spermatogenesis 
it proceeds through mitotic and meiotic cell division to generate spermatozoa sperm sperm contains three major portion head middle piece and tail there are about 300 millions of sperms completes the process of spermatozoa every day it is about 60 micron meter long head is about 4 to 5 micron meter long most sperm do not survive more than 48 hours within the female reproductive system in diagram you can see head contains acrosomes which contains digestive enzyme whereas nucleus middle portion contains mitochondria and tail region is which is also called as flagella causes sperm to swim or it enables the motility that we are going to study under its function epididymis here you can see the structure of epididymis it is also divided into three part head body and tail it is a comma shaped organ about 4 cm long it lies along posterior border of each testis it consists of head which is coiled in nature and forms lobule it it is 6 meter long if uncoiled and tail which contains or continues as vas deferens functions it stores and act as an site of sperm maturation it helps sperm in acquire motility to fertilize ovum with the help of flagella it propels sperm into the vas deferens vas deferens the two ducts which you can see in this diagram are called as vas deferens the tail of the epididymis is known as vas deferens it is about 45 cm long it passes from the testes towards the posterior wall of the bladder where it meets the seminal vesicle duct to form ejaculatory duct functions it propels sperm during sexual excitement it can store sperm for several months vasectomy it is defined as a surgical procedure designed to make a man sterile by cutting or blocking both the right and left vas deferens the tubes through which sperm pass into the ejaculate in diagram you can see the one cut portion which is called as vasectomy spermatic cord it is the supporting structure of male reproductive system it suspends testes in the scrotum it consists of arteries veins nervous tissue and lymph vessel which carries testosterone into circulation.